Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrice and this is my Embellish Life. In today's episode, we are going to be selecting my next sewing pattern for a function that I have to attend in two weeks time. Yes, so if that's something you're interested in, let's get in it. But before we get into the crux of the matter today, I just want to take a moment to congratulate myself. I just want to give myself a pat on the back. And if it's your first time watching my video, you might be saying, why is this woman congratulating herself? What sort of nonsense is this? I'll tell you why. So I set out this summer with a challenge and that is to be more consistent with my sewing. Now, typically for me, between the months of May and maybe September, October, I don't do jack <laughs> when it comes to sewing. So I said, nah, Pat, mm -mm -mm. you have to do better this summer. We do have to. And I set out to be more consistent this summer and even though in june i didn't produce much in june i think i made one garment in june is it may or june one of those months but i can actually say for the month of july i pumped out some garments in july i think i did let's see two four I made six articles of clothing. Now, granted, for four of them, there was actually the suit. I did the two bralette tops and the shorts to match. But I'm still counting it as separate. <laughs> Don't rain on my parade here today. Don't do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I am proud of myself. And now if we are in August and I am still continuing that. And I am so proud. So, yeah, me. Yay! <laughs> so let's get into the main topic of today. Yes, I'm so excited, guys. I'm very, very, very excited. Now, I do have a function to attend in two weeks' time. Two weeks' time. So a very good friend of mine, a very good friend of Nona from since childhood, primary school. And... Uh, she is the she has a brand a fashion brand and uh, it's called triffle and uh, she is releasing um some new products for her accessory line now her line triffle her brand triffle is more than accessories um it when she first start, started it out i think this is her 15 year anniversary yes when she first started it out it was uh, swimsuits and resort wear and those sort of clothing but she has since branched out to include you know accessories uh, such as leather leather bags and she do have an active wear line she do have a also um plethora of accessories and i love accessories she also does custom designs for chefs you know the chef jacket and 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 and, and stuff like that home decor and stuff like that so her brand has actually expanded out over the years to include other other things but her main thing is actually resort wear right so the dress code for the event is all white. It's all white, but it's actually resort chic. <laughs> resort chic. Now, I don't own anything in my wardrobe that is resort chic. I own bathing suits, but I'm not going to wear bathing suit to such an event. Mm -mm. So here is where I am right now. I do have fabric, the white fabric, and then I do have maybe about four or five patterns that I went into my stash to select from. I only got two weeks, guys, two weeks. Are we gonna make it do what it do? 
<laughs> so when I first decided that I was going to attend the event, you know, I had to go in my stash to see what was available. Now, granted, I don't typically use a lot of white. Um, I love white. White doesn't love me. So I don't have a lot of it in my stash unless it is corner cutting because I do use white corner cutting in my quilting as well. So I do have a stash of corner cutting, but I didn't want that material for resort chic. Now, when you think about resort wear, you know, it's light, airy, flowy, you know, nothing that is clinging to your body or weighing you down or anything like that. So I, I knew that I didn't want white corner cutting. Plus, it's just a tad bit too, too plain. I'm thinking chic and I don't think the corner cutting would have, would have done it. But in my stash, I realized that I did have this uh, eyelet fabric. Now, I've used some of this fabric before when I made when I made uh, McCall's eight one zero four. I think that's the pattern. But I'll pop it up so you can so you can see, and also a photo of the of the dress. So I have used this fabric before. And uh, um, this is what I had available in my stash. So I wanted options. So I went into my local fabric store. And just a side note, the owners of the local fabric store is actually Kristen's family. <laughs> so you can see how everything just connects. <laughs> So I went into local fabric store Clovers and uh, they had just gotten some new shipments of some fabric uh, over the weekend and this white crinkle cotton was a part of it. <laughs> so when I went in there, Kristen was in the store and she's like, Pat, Pat, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get some of this white crinkle cutting. You have to get it. Because she was like, as for you, you cannot purchase an outfit to wear at my event. You have to sew it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I, I hear you, friend. I hear you. <laughs> so... I purchased four yards of this um, crinkle fabric. And I think, I know it's cotton. I think it might be cotton wool. I'm not too sure. When I do go back to the store, I have to um, to see what actually the, the fabric is. But I know that I did purchase four yards of it. And the, the, the width of the fabric, it's, I think, 58 inches. So I do have some fabric to play with. Now, she also told me that she's getting in some white eyelet fabric uh, by the end of this week. So tomorrow, I'm going to go in there <laughs> to see what my other options for the eyelet fabric is. Because I know this fabric, I might have maybe just a shy under two yards left. I want to say that. So I know that this will not be enough. So... I'm going to go and purchase uh, some more eyelet fabric. It might not be in this design, but uh, maybe another eyelet design. So I'm so happy that I have options. So now let me show you the fabric that, not the fabric, just talked about the fabric. <laughs> let me show you some of the patterns that I've selected and then we can see whether or not any of them are suitable. All right. So let's have at it so like i said with just attire being resort chic i don't want anything that's really sticking to my body i'm looking for something that's light airy flowy and something that has a little bit of oomph you know that uh, would make me i don't want to necessarily stand out in the car because it's not my show it's not my shinding but I still want to, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. 
<laughs> so anyway, so the some of the um, patterns that I've selected, they I think they can provide such. Okay. Um, to be honest, I am leaning more towards a wide leg jumpsuit. I'm leaning more towards that. But you know how I do. I say one thing and by the time I get ready to sit down to sew, minds change. <laughs> but that's what I'm currently leaning towards. So let's have a look at some of the fabric, not the fabric, the patterns that I've selected. Now the first one fabric that I've selected, it's from New Look and it's 6552. And it is a halter dress pattern. Now, the reason that I selected this pattern is because if I decide to use the eyelet fabric, I think this pattern will go excellent with the eyelet fabric. Now, this pattern, New Look 6552, it comes in multiple views, views A to C. And to be honest, the only thing that I can see that is different between the views is actually the length. View A being the longest length. I think view B might be more of a midi length. And view C looks like it's above the knee. Okay? Or if it's not above the knee, maybe close to the knee, somewhere in that, in that region. Now, the fabric, the suggested fabrics are cotton, cotton types, lightweight fat, um, denim, sateen, sesucker, silky types, taffeta, satin. And uh, yeah, I think the eyelet fabric would be an excellent, would be an excellent choice for this, uh, for this arm. Um, for this pattern now to be honest because i have two weeks i don't to be honest to me that's that's not much time <laughs> so i don't want anything that is too complicated anything that would give me too much of wahala you understand so i i think this pattern is easy enough for me to go through one that would not take up a lot of mental real estate and i absolutely love it so this is one of the contenders that if i decide to do it it would be with the eyelet fabric second pattern that i have is from simplicity and it is 9597 and it is from mimi g yes 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 now i absolutely love 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 this pattern but somehow i just never got around to use it and i know that i've selected this pattern multiple times to use and i'm always exchanging it out for something else and i don't know why but i do love this uh, love this pattern now this pattern it comes in two views it's maxi dress and also a jumpsuit and i think i'm leaning towards the jumpsuit because that's what currently i have in mind I think <laughs> and I think should I use it I would use the crinkle the crinkle fabric now let's see what the suggested fabric here is yes here it is silky types gauze rayons cotton light wheel cotton so yeah I think this this would work and i think it would be an excellent choice should i decide to use this pattern i just love this pattern now let me see i bought four yards let me see before i start to go gong gong ho for this whether or not i have it or whether or not i need to go back and purchase so for me if i should what's the size 16 according to my my bus measurements Currently, it will be three and five eighths. So I have, I have enough. I'm so happy. <laughs> so this fabric will definitely be for this this pattern. Should I select? Should I select it? Now the third pattern 
that I have. It's from my cause. And I've made this pattern before. I've made this pattern before. It's zero, it's 8009. And I love this pattern now when i made it i made it you know with the ankara and the purple and i made the long longer sleeve version but i don't want the long sleeve version i want uh, you see which is uh, the jumpsuit with uh, the short sleeves and i think this might work as well now the selected fabric Oh, the suggested fabrics are Crip, Shali, and Shamus. So again, if I decide to use this, this pattern, because I've made it before and I know how it goes and it's already cut out, I would definitely use the crinkle cotton fabric. So this is one, again, that is a very high contender. Oh my goodness, how am I going to decide? <laughs> I have two weeks, Patty Boo. You have two weeks. So you need to decide today, 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 because I really would like to at least cut out the fabric um, today. Well, I can't today if I'm going to see what the other eyelet fabric is. <sighs> we sort something out, but by the weekend, yes, let's say that. <laughs> let's say by the end of the weekend, I want to already have this pattern cut out and some sort of sewing has be has begun the fourth pattern that i have it's from vogue and it is v1883 again i love this pattern this act this pattern was actually one of my birthday contender patterns and I absolutely love this pattern. What gets, what gets me with this pattern, it's uh, the top part of the pattern, how it's uh, the crisscross around the neck and it gives the illusion as if it's a halter top, but it's not a halter top. And I absolutely love this pattern. And like I said, this is another one that every time I pick it up to sew it, uh, it doesn't happen, but Trust me, the love is there for this pattern. It's definitely there. Now, let's see what's the fabric suggestions for this. Yes, it's crepe, sateen, rayon, shali, broadcloth. No. <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm on the fence of which fabric I should use. Should I select this pattern? Because I think both of them would look excellent very excellent with it so i'm not too sure whether or not i should use the eyelet or this bad boy this crinkle um fabric all oh, decisions decisions help me father help me <laughs> but definitely this is uh, another pattern that I would like to use. The fifth pattern, and this is the final pattern. It's from, it's another Vogue, and it's V9259. V9259. And it's a jumpsuit pattern. You guys, I have a conundrum right there. I'm quite in a quandary because all of these patterns I would like to sew. And this jumpsuit pattern, I can actually see it. I can see it being used with uh, actually the crinkle fabric. Um, so it has three views. Um, view A, it's a romper, so it's a sh the shortest version. View B, it looks like midi length, and then view C, it's a long jumpsuit. <sighs> so. It's either view A or view C for me using the, the crinkle fabric. And I absolutely love, love this. Now this, this pattern, if we're going to the line drying, um, we see that it's, the top is actually a halter and the back is um, very low back. It's a low back. So I have to think about uh, 
how I'm going to um, secure my these, these, these bad boys here. <laughs> Which shouldn't be a problem. But that's something that I will, I will have to think about. But I absolutely love this pattern. And I'm thinking even if I don't uh, use the top part of this uh, of this pattern I can actually mesh uh, these two together Vogue um, 1883 with this one I will use this top and mash it with the bottom so that's also another option as well but I can see it I can see it and uh, like I said it would definitely be using uh, this uh, the crinkle fabric guys I am in hot water right here because I can't decide. I definitely can't decide. What am I going to do? <laughs> so I need your help. <laughs> I definitely need your help on this one. So tell me, which one is your favorite? Which one do you think I should choose? I need your help, please. Please, I beg. <laughs> all right, lovies, that is all that I have today concerning this pattern selection. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And also follow me on Instagram because I think, especially for this one, I'll actually do some sewing updates. And perhaps maybe I should do a sew with me also. Something to think about at the moment, but we'll see. But follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with my other crafting shenanigans. Yes. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Think lovely thoughts. Keep on smiling. And always remember to make beautiful and wonderful things. All right, lovies. I'm out of here. Bye.